There are a handful of airports worldwide with direct flights from Wuhan, China. Right now, screening is happening at three U.S. airports, LAX, San Francisco International, and JFK in New York. Two more airports are added to that list this week, O'Hare in Chicago and Atlanta. So, as we said, this patient came through SeaTac, but will SeaTac end up on that list? King 5's aviation expert, Glenn Farley, joins us live from the airport as our coverage continues. Glenn. So you're right. I mean, you would think that this would become a screening center for this because we have connections to China, but it is not going to. Um, basically, SeaTac is now the eighth busiest in the country. About 50 million passengers went through here in 2019. But while we have a lot of direct flights to China and Asia, not everyone, including this gentleman, came in that way. He would have been on what they call a code share flight, where they pass customs in another city like Minneapolis and then arrive on what is otherwise a domestic flight to Seattle. At SeaTac today, we found a high degree of awareness of this illness, and I met a man who wasn't traveling to and from China, but is from the city where this all started, Wuhan. Your friends and family saying back home? Just, uh, they are fine. Uh, they're, they're taking uh, cautious just like me. When we got on the airport on, on the flights, we are definitely having the masks and we are taking our supplements. I, I have, and it's kind of scary. I don't know that they uh, know exactly uh, what the uh, seriousness of it is yet, and that, that's what makes it a little scary. Now, I was on a teleconference with some state and county and federal health officials earlier, uh, earlier in the day and they are very concerned about this. So what is likely to happen at the airport? First of all, they need to backtrack his movements here, like you heard Eric explain to you earlier. Also, you can expect to see some sort of indication about you know, symptoms and things to look out for. Uh, and they are keeping an eye here on SeaTac as well. Live at SeaTac, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.